Can you talk about the health benefits of Wellmune? Sure. Uh, Wellmune is probably the best characterized uh, immune health ingredient out there. Uh, there are numerous publications in different areas. Uh, let's take four particular areas of uh, Wellmune and, and the research behind it. So let's talk about safety. Safety is very important. Uh, a number of years ago, we completed and, and uh, published research studies on the safety of Wellmune. These are basic uh, studies on the safety and toxicology of any material that should be done well before those materials are marketed. Uh, in fact, in order for, uh, for an ingredient to be recognized as safe by the U.S. FDA, uh, safety studies are required, and in general, they, those studies need to be published. Uh, so the safety data behind Wellmune is well understood and published. So once we have safety well established, we want to embark on an understanding of the mechanism of action. The mechanism of action is very important because a good understanding of the mechanism of action tells us what research we want to conduct to demonstrate the benefits of this material, in this case, Wellmune and, and its benefits on the immune system. And secondly, uh, when we get to ultimate uh, studies of the gold standard clinical studies that are conducted, it tells you exactly what health benefits are likely to be, to be observed. Um, and once we understand the mechanism of action, and prior to conducting uh, extensive human clinical studies, it's important to do preclinical research. And these are some of your basic uh, studies that look into how does or what forms of benefits in case of the immune system are we likely to observe before we embark on expensive uh, human studies. Uh, and of course, the last area is are the human clinical studies. And with Wellmune, uh, we have not only extensive publications on safety and on mechanism of action, where I would say we have six to ten different publications that help to define and elucidate the mechanism of action. Uh, numerous uh, dozens, I would say, of preclinical studies that have been published. We also have currently nine different uh, publications on the clinical uh, effects of Wellmune, and these are in all in uh, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled studies, the, the gold standard studies that we want. Uh, so we have a good understanding of the overall health benefits based on that long-term sequence of events that were executed to help us understand the benefits of Wellmune. You mentioned the mechanism of action. Can you explain exactly what happens when we take Wellmune? What's going on in our body? Sure. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, areas to discuss with respect to Wellmune. Uh, and I would recommend to the audience that they visit wellmune.com uh, where they can view a video uh, on the mechanism of action uh, that goes into a little bit more detail than I can provide here. The mechanism of action of Wellmune is uh, well elucidated. Publications, for example, in the Journal of Immunology help us to understand that when Wellmune is consumed, is orally consumed, uh, it, it makes its way through your digestive tract and, and winds, goes through the stomach and into the small intestine. When it gets to the small intestines, there's a region of your small intestines called the Peyer's patch. And the Peyer's patches are uh, immune tissue. And this immune tissue selectively picks up materials like the Wellmune WGP uh, through uh, systems that are developed over years to help identify what humans consume and how those foods and ingredients that are consumed affect our health. Um, so when the material Wellmune is consumed, uh, it's picked up and transported through the Peyer's patch cells, and there, once it makes its way into our systemic system, into our circulatory system, uh, it is picked up by waiting immune cells, uh, white blood cells called macrophages, among others. Mm. Macrophages then circulate throughout the body, and they make their way to various immune organs, for example, bone marrow, your thymus, uh, and other uh, immune organs. Um, as an example, when, the, when Wellmune is picked up, circulates uh, in, in a macrophage and makes its way to bone marrow, there it's broken down uh, over a period of, of a day or, or several days. And the Wellmune uh, fragments that are produced, the bio biologically active material, are then released by the macrophage cells, a process called antigen presentation, released by the immune cells and uh, to are picked up by other immune cells. And let's use the primary immune cell as an example. The primary immune cell that most people will hear of at different times in their life is called a, uh, a neutrophil. When the Wellmune binds to a neutrophil cell, uh, it changes those cells in two key ways. First of all, it's, it changes how the neutrophil cell is able to uh, navigate 
to a, uh, a labeled cell, uh, and I'll explain that in a moment, uh, how it navigates to a labeled cell, a process called chemotaxis. Uh, and then it also helps the um, neutrophil to execute a particular killing mechanism once it encounters a non-self cell that's properly labeled. Now, there's two halves to this whole. Uh, the first half is what we are adding, which is the well-immune WGP ingredient. And this is a pattern, a molecular pattern, that's recognized by our immune cells. Uh, and neutrophils pick up this fragment once we add it into the diet. The other portion or the other aspect that's required for the eff effectiveness of well-immune are the normal immune um, events that occur when a non-self cell occurs in your body. A non-self cell can be your own dead cells that need to be replaced. Uh, it could be a bacteria, a virus, a fungal cell, uh, some of the normal things that we have that occur every day. Well, when those cells enter your body uh, or that event occurs, uh, your body has a way of labeling these cells or flagging them as something that, that doesn't belong here. And once those cells are flagged with something called complement, a soluble protein, uh, then the wellmune containing neutrophil is able to more effectively move towards that signal uh, through a process called chemotaxis, which is well described in some of the uh, publications that help define our mechanism of action. So ultimately, once the neutrophil has this material, the wellmune uh, bound to the surface of the neutrophil, it does enhance how the uh, neutrophil is able to navigate to the site of a non-self cell and then to help effectively remove that cell by killing it.